Pact number nine. Luxro Master Distiller and Master Blender John Rempe has renewed his annual pact with bourbon drinkers with the release of Blood Oath Pack 9 Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey finished in Oloroso Sherry Casks. Now, like older Blood Oath releases, this blend combines three bourbons, two with some high age and one with not so high age, but finished in Oloroso Sherry Casks. Now, these tend to be hit or miss each year. Is the 2023 release a hit? Stay tuned. It's the Mass and Drum. What's up, folks? I'm Jason C. from the Master and Drum. Welcome back to the show. Like, subscribe, and help grow the channel for 2023. Thank you, Whiskey Tube family. So, Blood Oath was created with one thing in mind, creating a rare whiskey that shall never be made again. Now, every batch of Blood Oath is blended by master distiller John Rempe. His goal is basically to seek out some rare bourbons, blend them, bottle them in different combinations that are unique and delicious. Uh, and with all that said, he does keep his blends top secret, hence the Blood Oath. Now the last few releases have included a Calvados cask finish, a Sauternes cask finish, and a Cognac finish. Blood Oath Pack 9 blends a 16-year rye bourbon and a 12-year rye bourbon, as well as a 7-year rye bourbon finished in those Oloroso sherry casks from the Sherry Triangle region in southwest Spain. And like all Blood Oaths, Pack 9 will come in a fire-branded wooden display box. This is a limited release. I think about 17,000 bottles uh, are available of this. Uh, with suggested retail price of $130 per 750 milliliter bottle. And as always, it's bottled at the normal blood temperature of 98.6 proof. So I tried this on my live stream uh, last Wednesday night. I was kind of in between on it. I, I was hoping a little airtime would open this up more, maybe be able to give you a little bit more of an accurate review. So let's go for it. Here we go. All right, so this did what I was hoping it would do a little bit, which is give me some more sherry notes on it. Now, so this is a sun-made raisin box. When, when you first crack it open, sun-made raisins. Man, this got a lot sweeter on the nose. That's what I was hoping for. But I will say the age in these whiskeys come through. Now, you don't know the proportions of between that 16, 12, and the seven year. You know, they don't tell you what the proportions are, but you can definitely smell the aged whiskey in here. There's some oak char, some sweetness. Yeah, a lot of brown sugar, barrel char. You know, the dark fruits are there from the sherry. And again, like most blood oaths, and you guys let me know down in the comments, de really depending on who you are and, you know, depending on what you like. Now, I I've never, I always preach like, you know, I don't want the finish to overpower the whiskey. You know, when you do a finished whiskey, uh, finished bourbon. But I do, however, want to at least taste a good amount of it. But, you know, I still want the backbone of the bourbon. And, you know, it's a very delicate balance. However, with the Blood Oats, I always felt like it, it was almost too little bit of a, of a finish. Um, but I think, you know, in the beginning, I was very, you know, I was barely getting the sherry, the Oloroso sherry cask. At least with some airtime, it's opening up. And something that I do get with Oloroso sometimes, I'm getting a little bit of a nuttiness as well. So, decent nose. Let's try it. Here we go. Now I'll tell you this, when it comes to Blood Oath, one thing that always rings true is I always love that first sip. <laughs> the first sip is powerful. You get all that, I mean, you really get the aged whiskeys here on the front of the palate. You also get the sherry. I think the sherry's there, it's a lot of dark fruit, the raisin comes through, maybe a kiss of chocolate, not a lot. That nuttiness is there on the mid palate. I do think you get a little bit of a citrus note too here in the, in the mid palate. Then it finishes, you get like some nice older age bourbon notes. And again, a little bit more of that sherry. But as always, the first sip I always really love with Blood Oath, it's the next sips because the proof is kind of low. But let's see what we get here. So I'll say this, for 98.6 proof, this actually has a really nice finish to it. Now normally I'm a huge, you know, I'm a huge fan of, of good and long finishes. But is it enough to balance out what I'm getting on the front of the palate? And in this case, the front of the palate is just going real flat for me. The sweetness is there. The Oloroso is there, but it is so tamed down. Um, I'm actually getting more of the aged bourbon notes over the sherry notes and over the, um, you know, some of the other like bigger notes I want from an Oloroso sherry cask. It's just, just not there. 
I mean, it's good. It's solid. It's There's nothing wrong with it. John Rempe does a great job each and every year blending these. The best part about this Blood Oath is the finish. Not, It's not even close. The front of the palette is very thin. It's not super punchy. Like, I'm, I'm just talking about even just standard bourbon flavors. Like, the front of the palette, it, it just whips by really fast. It is a, it is just a hit and run. <laughs> it kind of hits your palate, and then it just takes off. And then you're left with a really nice finish with some good, older age bourbon flavors. Again, the spice is there. I still think you get a little bit of the sherry as well on the back end. But the front of the palette is, it's just kind of leaving me with not a lot. Ugh. These, these can be so frustrating for me. And I don't know if it's just a proof thing, which it very well could be. Bourbon nerds and whiskey nerds and bourbon enthusiasts tend to like higher proof. So this below 100 proof, it always seems to be a reach, but you know, I've had low proof bourbons this year that actually punch above their weight. You know, Michter's 10 year is a great example this year. Michter's 10 year for 2023 was an absolute flavor monster. And that thing is what, 94 proof? So, but this one's just not hitting the mark here. It's a good solid bourbon again. The, the age notes are there. The 16 year, I feel like you get that. But the sherry, I feel like really diminishes after the first sip. You just don't get the sherry enough. And I just feel like the front of the, the this on the front of my palate is just flying by. There's nothing to hold on to in the front of the palate. It is all finished. It's kind of off balance to me. Ugh, these are so frustrating. <laughs> all right, final breakdown. All right, guys, final breakdown on the new Blood Oath Pact 9. This is, again, this is after I already tried it, gave it some air time, let it open up a little bit more. So here we go. Price on this one, uh, retail price is $130. Uh, secondary market value, you can see these upcharged over 200 to $250 uh, easily. And as we know, availability, 17,000 bottles. So that means limited. Uh, value for this one. I'm not gonna go as far to say it's a low value uh, because there is some high age whiskey in here, high age bourbon. You have to take that into account. I know sometimes people just look at proof and they just wanna dismiss it. But when you're using 16 and 12 year old bourbons, I mean, I am gonna take that into account. So I'm not gonna say low, but I'm definitely gonna say below average. What's the most I pay? This is, um, to me, well, I have to say MSRP. I, I wouldn't pay more than 130 for this. If you guys see it in a store and it's it's marked up or it's um, you know priced a lot higher than 130, I recommend you do not buy it at that price. However, I do think this should be a 90 to a $100 bourbon. I don't like it over 130. I think the proof does hurt it. And for this one in particular, there's just not enough going on in the front of the pallet to warrant paying that money. Uh, alternatives for this one, I mean, I mean, how many can I even mention? I mean, how many sherry finished whiskeys are there on the market today? Uh, sherry finishes are kind of all over. Starlight, Bardstown Bourbon Company, Old Elk, Jim Beam has done sherry finishes, Sagamore, even though it's a rye, they do sherry finishes. Sherry finishes are everywhere, so if you don't want to pay 130 for this, you can definitely find some more sherry finishes. And recommend, is this a skip? Is it a try before you buy? Is it a buy? Is it a buy and back it up? This one, I hate to say it. I mean, for me, it's a skip. I just, there's just not enough going on in the front of the pal for me. And again, it just could come down to proof. Maybe it is, maybe I need a little bit more proof on this one. The finish on this is great though. However, I will say if you have, um, if you're, you know, if you're a bourbon drinker and you like lower proof, you like kind of like that 95 to 100, this might be worth giving it a try. But even for you guys, I would still say this is a try before you buy than just going out and grabbing it. This one just isn't doing enough for me. I really hope that next year, you know, this is going to hit pack 10. Listen, if, if there's one thing we have learned from whiskey producers, from bourbon producers, is that they love anniversaries and they love special releases. So I, I guarantee we'll see a 10th anniversary edition of uh, the Blood Oath. Maybe we'll see higher proof. Maybe we'll see higher ages. Maybe we'll see a more of a more of an exotic cask maturation, you know, a finishing cask. Who knows what it's gonna be? Me, I'm leaning towards a higher proof point because I think this at a higher proof could do something. I mean, I understand the 98.6 marketing, you know, spin that's on it. I think that's actually kind of cool but I think this just begs for a higher proof, especially this one. 
All right, guys, I well, hope you enjoyed this review for the new Blood Oath Pact 9. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know down in the comments if you've had this yet, what you think about it. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. So cheers. Let me know what you guys think of this one, if you've had it yet. I'm, I'm curious. Cheers. See you next time.